you'll hear me talk about the importance of mentors every so often. And in terms of what a mentor is, it's anybody who has been somewhere where you want to be. It's anybody who has taken the hits in a way for you so that you can accelerate your growth and you can skyrocket as fast as humanly possible. Um, in life, we grow normally in accordance to how much effort we put out and what we are actually ready to obtain. So in terms of mentors in my life right now, I have two main ones and then I have many others along the way. I seek them out. And the reason I'm sharing this video with you today, I found a, another mentor, uh, probably going to be a main one for a while. Um, it's going to be in the fitness arena. But I have a mentor right now in terms of business, and I have a mentor uh, kind of as a an all-encompassing success right now. I have a mentor for that as well. Um, I seek these people out, and you need to understand the, the mindset at which you need to get in because the people I surround myself with, they're not coincidences, okay? It's not that I'm lucky, all right? What happens, maybe they are coincidences, but I, I jump on them and you have to too. These people are all around us, okay? Um, someone who's older than you, and I'm talking, let's say, 20, 30 years older than you, you could probably learn a hell of a lot from. So, what a mentor does is takes your abilities. Um, you may have all the drive and the willpower in the world, but if you're driving in the wrong direction, you're not going to arrive where you want to be. So I was at the gym today and I, I have some personal fitness goals that I am trying to obtain. Um, I might have a boxing fight down in, uh, in West Virginia. I might be entering later on this year and stuff and I'm trying to get ready for it and a few other things. Um, but the thing is, you know, I've kind of winged it my whole life in terms of the fitness routine. Um, you know, what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to build, my fitness goals, all that. You know, what should I really be eating, this and that. Well, I was at the gym today and I see this guy there. You know, you ever see those like big, big, big dudes? You know, the ones that like, you're like, oh, he's, he's, he's juicing. Absolutely. You know, well, I see this guy. And he's got, you'll see him, I'm going to put him in the video later on. Um, he's got arms like tree trunks, right? I mean, legs are fucking like that. I mean, he's, he's a built dude. And I see him working out. And I see the intensity at which he's going in. And it reminds me of the intensity if, if you've ever, if you know me in real life and you've ever come to the gym with me. I work out at a very high intensity. And I do these circuits and I do these burnout routines and stuff and this guy was working out very similar, but he's got the results that I'm looking for. And I'm looking at this guy, I'm like, he's gotta be like 250 pounds or something like that, right? <clears throat> so anyways, <clears throat> I'm looking at, you know, I'm watching this guy and I'm going back to my routine and I'm, I'm burnt out, you know, it's the end of the, it's the end of my, my routine, I'm finished and I'm gonna be heading home. And it occurs to me that this area of my life is no different than any other, all right? And it, you need to apply this kind of stuff to, to your thinking, okay? This area of fitness, if I want to excel in fitness, well, you know what? Maybe I should go get myself a mentor in terms of that as well. So I'm watching this guy, and he finishes out a, a set of his. He puts the weight down or whatever, and he's walking back to, to the bench, and uh, I walked up to him and I, I shook his hand and I said, uh, what's your name? And he, he looks at me and he goes, yeah, well, I don't know if he wants me to share his name. Um, so for right now, we'll call him, uh, uh, I don't know, we'll call him Dave for right now, okay? I said, what's your name? He says, Dave. And I said, my name is Joshua. And he sits down on his bench and that, you know, I go right next to him and I, I sit down on a bench right across from him and I look him right in the eyes and the first thing I say to him, the very first thing I say to him, I look him right in the eyes and I told him, I said, what you have, I want. And I want to know what you know. And he looks at me and he kind of looks to the side and he starts coming out just right away, starting to talk to me about 
What are your fitness goals? What is this? What is that? Da, da, da. Guy knew his stuff. And we had a big conversation together, and I ended up finding out that he is a, um, uh, he's a beach body fitness uh, instructor. He you know, travels around. He has his own website. See, there's, there's so many different forms of success, and this guy took a, a fitness route, right? <clears throat> and we see these people, I'm going to call them exquisite. We see exquisite people around us at all times, yet we don't talk to them. You know, you, you, you don't talk to them because you don't know them or you don't talk to them because you feel they're out of your league. You know, some, some girl walks by and she's everything you've ever wanted, but oh, oh, I'm not going to talk to her. She, she probably has a boyfriend. Well, yeah, maybe she does. But you know what else? Maybe she holds herself to such high standards. She's waiting for a man of a high caliber to come up to her. Maybe that man's you. You know what I mean? You don't know that unless you go over. So it's the same thing when you apply it to other people. So he starts coming out with all this stuff and he's, as far as I'm concerned, and the conversation him and I had, and you know, we got into some personal stuff and how he got into lifting and this and that. But as far as I'm concerned, he's, he's a high caliber male. You know, he's the kind of person that I surround myself with, you know, in terms of friends of mine, in terms of uh, business partners, um, uh in terms of the, 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 my employees, all that kind of stuff, high caliber ranking males. Absolutely. And females and females as well. Um, so anyways, we, we finish up talking and, um, you know, we go our, go our separate ways or whatever. But before we had, he's like, listen, take my number, you know, I'll, I'll train you. I will teach you to, to, you know, really get the gains you're looking for. You know, we'll sit down, we'll draw something out. You know, I mean, I don't, he, he, he genuinely wanted to because he saw somebody walk up to him who has the passion to do something, who has the drive to do stuff. And he had noticed me working out and the same, same type of, um, you know, tenacity and stuff. And him and his girlfriend were there and they both, you know, they do the healthy eating and this and that, and they're all natural. I found out he's not on steroids. When you see this guy, all right, you're going to see him in a second or two. You probably think he's on steroids. But see, the gains that people get on steroids, yes, if you're on steroids, you're going you're gonna to blow away somebody who takes care of themselves, who this and that and da 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 but it's not going to be sustainable. Sustainable. It's not going to be sustainable. Not for a long time. Not forever. Unless you are closely monitored, you know, Sylvester Stallone, that kind of stuff, yeah, you, you can last for a while longer than most people, but... I'll bet you he's got to take a lot to counteract the shit going on. I, I don't know. I don't know him, but I, I know of many unsuccessful steroid cases. I know of friends of mine personally. I know of a buddy of mine who, who he's, he's not doing good, and he's younger than me. He's not doing good. So anyways, um, we finished up. I got his number and stuff. You know, I talked to his girl for a little bit, you know, whatever, and uh, I go in the, the, the locker room. And, um, you know, I set up my, uh, my camera cause you know, I, after I work out, you know, I like to see the results. So I, I keep a log on my camera, uh, on my, on my, on my phone because I want to see the results because the more I see results, the more I, I push myself to go further. Because when you see results, you keep that, that perpetual wheel going. You know what I mean? See, because if you don't keep that, that wheel going, I, I go to the gym six days a week. I take Sundays off. That's it. Um, Sundays I, I do a lot of like, uh, yoga type stuff and, and meditations and, and all this. Um, and I, I declutter the mind, but totally forgot. What am I talking about? Um, oh, I keep a log on the, uh, on the phone because I like to look back and, and watch the progress. Cause if you don't keep that residual wheel going, you're going to get a flat tire and you're going to get stuck. Right? So I push myself. Everybody, you have to push yourself. What do you want, you know? So anyways, um, as I'm doing that, he ends up walking in because I made such an impression on him out on the, uh, I was almost going to call it the field. Um, I made such an impression on him out where the, the, the weights are and stuff. 
you know, he, he wanted to come in and just, just talk a little bit more and just find out a little bit more about my specific goals and, um, you know, give me some advice, you know, it's free advice, you know, he seems like a cool guy in general. Um, see, something, something happens, uh, I forgot what the term for it is, but when someone of high value recognizes there's somebody else of high value, you could see it, you know what I mean? And, you know, in terms of the fact that he has a website, I mean, I didn't really bring up so much as what I do yet, but you know what? This guy is one of those real successful people. He's not somebody who's bullshitting. And I, I can tell that on a, on a short notice of, of talking with him. So, um, somebody who's, who's truly successful, I'm not talking the person who has a, a million dollars in their, their, you know, they're an asshole to you. That's not real success. That person's not happy. You're, you're not an asshole to others if you're happy. That just doesn't happen. Um, people with real success, they don't keep it to themselves if they see someone who's genuinely seeking the same thing and it's something they can help them with. See, me personally, I love being a mentor. I love showing people the way. I've started other people's businesses. Uh, I know I've started two businesses. Um, for friends of mine and stuff, and they're still going. Um, actually, they're both quite successful as well, which is cool because I know how to get a small business started. You know, I, I know the steps needed to do so, and I don't, I don't charge for that. I just go in and and I'll, I'll sit down. I'll tell somebody I've designed people's business cards. I've done stuff like that and, and gotten them going. You know, people with real success they don't keep it to themselves. You know, this guy was genuinely excited to see someone come up and be like. What you've got, I want, you know, um, and I talk about it all the time. You know, if you want to be good at something, go and talk to the person who's good at it. You want to be good at basketball, go talk to someone as close to Michael Jordan or, or LeBron James as you can get. Go and talk to that person. Make an impression on that person. You know, there's a, there's a guy I, I really like listening to, um, Ty Lopez. He's, uh, uh, I was listening to him the, the other day and he was talking about how when he was really down and out, he went for this job interview and he went into the job interview and the guy who was giving the interview wasn't even really kind of like looking up or whatever. The first thing out of his mouth, he said is that you're obviously very successful because the way he had found out about this, he looked in the yellow pages, found the biggest ad he could find, which cost, I think it was like $30,000 or something like that at the time for the year, something like that. And he walked in and said, if you have that much money to spend on it, you know things that I don't. If you'll teach me what you know, I'll work for you for free. And that guy turned around and looked at Ty. And I believe this story is true. And he looked at him and he said, you're the guy I've been waiting for. You know? And I took that idea with me, you know, the little nugget of knowledge that you get um, when, you, when you're looking into things and... Yeah, you want to better yourself. And I took that and that's what I applied with the guy today. You know, when I walked up to him, I sat down, I said, you know what, I'm just going to be, I'm just going to be straight. I, I told you what I said, you know, I didn't stutter. I looked him right in the eye and I made sure he knew that I was serious and he still knows I'm serious. So the thing is he's in there talking to me and I'll, I'll show you a little snippet from that or whatever. Um, but Basically, when I found out he wasn't on steroids, you know, we started talking about things and genetics and this and that. And it, you know, something that really just a little pet peeve of mine is uh, every so often I've thrown up like a picture or two onto like Facebook and, you know, maybe I'm flexing or something like that. And, you know, people comment and say whatever the hell they're going to say. Me personally, I'm just I'm just proud of the progress. Um but some, a bunch of people make comments about like, oh man, you know, genetics, and uh, da da da, genetics, you're, you're so lucky, and this and that. No, no, I'm not lucky in terms of genetics. Um, in fact, genetically, I'm a small guy. Uh, they went throughout high school being 135 pounds um, up until I decided to make a change in my junior year, but... I was 135 pounds uh, genetically. I was this little skinny uh, kid, Coke bottle glasses, bullied like you wouldn't believe. Um, and uh, yeah, no, no, genetics did not play a role with that. 
uh, that was willpower and that was passion and that was desire and application. That's what got me the body that I have now and that's what's going to get me the body that I'm going to have tomorrow and the day after, you know? So don't downplay me and also don't downplay yourself saying that I can't do this because genetically I'm predisposed to be fat or genetically I'm predisposed to be skinny. Do your research, you know? Don't listen to so much bro science. Do your research. Find a mentor. Find people who know what they're doing and then go and apply it. Make yourself the best version of yourself you can be. You want something? Go and get it. So anyways, the following is going to be me um, basically checking myself out in a mirror. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm putting that up because I want you guys to see what I look like now. Because in the future, you know, after following this mentor, I'll show you what I look like then. I'll do a little comparison thing. You'll see a difference. You watch. So, I'll see you there. many different kinds are all natural and they're vegan which is when you said vegan there's a lot of vegan shakes mm -hmm. i like the vegan because they taste good i'm not even, i'm a meat potatoes guy yeah but so, see i'm doing um you know what i mean i take uh chia seeds and this type of oatmeal and stuff yeah with that, oatmeal too, like your oatmeal. make a mix with so, a banana and kale and that's the thing like you get hooked up with this thing you would if you get like why to invest in like a challenge pack you get it comes with a look and the idiot proof of what you need like comes with this big thick book that tells you what you can eat, gives you recipes, so you can just read. If you could read, you can cook, and you cook everything. Like, I made so much crazy shit that, like, I never thought it could be.
Yeah, but make sure you text me, okay? Yeah, seriously. Absolutely. Get, hit me up. Yeah, yo, listen, stand here real quick. I just wanna, because I, I was I was filming something real quick, but this is this is what I'm looking to get to. This dude right here. This fucking this guy. I'm gonna look like this. You watch, you watch. <laughs> 186. Only, though. I'll seriously. talk to you. 